Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. Today in this video, I will show you how you can tweak your programs or uh, modify your programs on your phone uh, because uh, there will be times when you won't have access to your laptop and if you use this method, uh, you will uh, drastically increase your efficiency uh, while learning things or even doing assignments for applied AI course or if you want to practice programming in journal, you can uh, see problem statements online and then you can try writing code uh, while even if you don't have any access to your laptop but before moving forward i would like to uh, i would like to request you to uh, subscribe to the channel and be a part of programming cradle family and i try to record videos at night around 2 to 3 am because i live in a pretty uh, busy uh, locality where during daytime you will have all the vehicles honking around so yeah to avoid that and background noise everything i try to record the videos at around 2 to 3 am and uh, yeah so uh, it takes quite a lot of effort to make such videos and uh, i like to help you guys so i it, it doesn't uh, matter but uh, yeah if you guys subscribe and like it really keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys so and also if you share this video with your friends and colleagues or on, on your social media it is again gonna help me a lot and keeps me motivated to make videos like this and uh, also hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when our video goes live and also uh, share it with your friends and uh, if you have anything specific about uh, programming or applied AI course or um, anything you if you want to uh, talk to me you can uh, comment in the uh, comment section and also you can connect with me on LinkedIn so uh, yeah that is the thing so now with that being said uh, let me show you what exactly I am doing here so as you can see here uh, I have applied um, a KNN on iris dataset so that's what I will be doing in this uh, program I know it is very basic and uh, it is like hello world for machine learning but uh, th that is not the point of this video the point of this video is uh, to show you how you can utilize your time when uh, you don't have access to your laptop and still if you want to write some code and if you want to try something uh, you can always do that uh, let's say you are someone who is working in some company so most probably you will be staying in some uh, big cities like uh, um, Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, Pune where you have a lot of traffic and if you are someone who is uh, using uh, public transport to commute from office to home or home to office so in that case it will be really beneficial for you because sometimes it easily takes uh, half an hour to one hour or even two hours and I have seen people traveling for like three hours every day so that is a very a uh, huge amount of time so yeah you can utilize those times and uh, you can uh, practice programming or doing assignments if you have done if you have taken applied AI course because when you will be in a bus or in a cab uh, I don't think you will be able to access your laptop because in cab you don't have too much of space and in bus you know it will be very crowded and even if the bus is very crowded most probably you will see all the people are using their phones scrolling through the social media so why not use that time for some productive work so instead of scrolling through uh, social media you can uh, utilize that time for tweaking your uh, programs on the go i know it's not very convenient uh, as compared to laptop because on laptop it will be very easy for you to uh, write programs and see how things are working so writing program is something which is uh, quite uh, I won't say it's difficult because as you can see here I've written everything on phone I didn't write anything on laptop and just executing on phone so that is not the case I wrote everything just to show you that yes it is possible it, it takes a little bit of time as compared to uh, laptop but uh, it is uh, possible uh, that is for sure and uh, when you are in bus or some or cab like i said uh, you won't be having access to your laptop so obviously you can use that time to tweak your programs on phone uh, because let's say if you have written this program on your laptop and uh, while you were in office you thought yes uh, this might work for my assignment 
and uh, now you want to try that but uh, you won't be able to try that as uh, before reaching home or if you are uh, thinking to tr uh, try that uh, as and when you can always uh, try it on your phone in even in office or if you are uh, too busy in office you can try that uh, while uh, commuting from office to home and also in the morning you will have some time when you will be going from home to office so that is the thing uh, which uh, will drastically increase your speed of learning and uh, using that particular time to do the assignments because as you know the validity of the assignment of IDI course is uh, one year so you need to utilize every single uh, moment very efficiently and also at later point when data will get uh, huge you probably will need more time to run programs so it's better to do initial assignments uh, pretty quickly I would say first uh, 15 assignments will be on relatively less data so you will be able to do those assignments uh, pretty quickly so uh, let's say if you wrote uh, those programs on your laptop and uh, it's not completed yet and you think uh, there is some error and if you want to change few things you can always do that on your phone and use that particular time uh, to uh, to do, do those assignments and it will be very efficient i think and also uh, you will be able to uh, complete your assignments uh, pretty quickly but because you won't be wasting your uh, time in just traveling from office to home or home to office so this is something which i wanted to tell you in this video and uh, this video is quite different from other videos it's kind of hack thing but uh, most of you might have thought about it i think but uh, most people don't try it or most people just don't think about it so maybe i thought why not share this with you guys and probably it will help you and uh, like you see here uh, in this program i wrote everything on the phone and you can see all the plots are working perfectly fine and uh, also by the end of the video you will see the accuracy and all those things so if these things are working on phone so for most probably i won't say most probably it will surely work on i mean on laptop also laptop with everything will work that is for sure so yeah this is what i wanted to show you uh, this is just an example a simple example just like hello world but uh, as you can see it, sure, it surely works so you can try this and uh, yeah this is it for this video uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and be a part of programming creator family and also download data science notes and uh, also you can um, join telegram group and also you can connect with me on linkedin also on github so yeah uh, with that being said uh, i will leave you for the day and hope to see you in the next video bye have a great day and happy learning